Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming out today. Um, bear with me. <laughs> and Anthony, you're very hard to follow. Uh, my name is Christopher Blackwell. I've been in prison for the last 13 years. I have a 45 year sentence, and I've been in here since I've been 21. Uh, for a horrible mistake I made in first degree murder. Recently, I came across a series of articles that was described and sponsored by the Berry Institute where several prison officials from the country, including Mr. Warner, our Secretary of Corrections, traveled to Germany to visit prisons there. Being of German descent myself, I was interested in what they had found. In the German system, there's an emphasis on rehabilitation and prisoners live in condition, conditions similar to the outside world. Prisoners wear their own clothes, they cook their own food, and they were paid more for jobs and required to save money so they are not penniless upon their release. All prisoners in Germany are given regular reviews with the goal to reintegrate them back into society. Prisoners with life sentences are looked at with no more than 15 years. Correctional officers and prison officials receive extensive training, higher pay, and are expected to be part of a therapeutic community which the prisoners are in. The maximum time any prisoner can spend in solitary confinement is eight hours. In Germany, the juvenile sentencing laws apply to anyone 21 years or younger, and there's a political discussion to move that age to 24 years of age. Jeremy Travis, who was involved in this by the Berry Institute and president of the John Jay College of the Criminal Justice in New York, organized the trip and later wrote this follow-up article. Earlier this summer, we led a delegation of people concerned about the United States criminal justice system to visit some prisons in Germany and observe their conditions. What we saw was astonishing. We hoped we were getting a glimpse of what the future of the American criminal justice system could look like. This is an encouraging time for American advocates of the criminal justice system. After decades of callousness and complacency, the United States has finally started to take significant steps towards reverse what a recent report by the National Research Council called historically unprecedented and internationally unique experiment in mass incarceration. But for all the signs of progress, truly transformative change in the United States will, prior, will require us to fundamentally rethink these values that we've adapted to. How do we move from a system whose core value is punishment to one that prioritizes accountability and rehabilitation? In Germany, we saw a potential model a system that is premised in the protection of human dignity and the ideas, the aim of incarceration is to prepare prisoners to lead, to lead socially responsible lives free of crime upon release. 